Wide sections of Texas are sinking and growing at a rate researchers say was never known until now. A team from SMU made that discovery using satellite radar, and today they talked with our Jason Allen about potential concerns, and he is live in Fort Worth tonight. And Kaylee, in some cases, it's just maybe an inch or so of sinking. And that's not much. Maybe you'd only notice it if you drove over it on the road. In other cases, it's several feet. And the SMU teams are confident that it all comes back to oil and gas production and years of changing what is under the surface of the state. The toll of taking oil and gas out of the ground and injecting waste back into it, an SMU team found can now be measured by satellites above the state. We see the surface moving up and down. And uh, how we are very confident on how much movement is taking place over that area. Over an area of 4,000 square miles in West Texas to start, they found the ground is sinking feet in some places, rising inches in others. Over time, like with this lake that formed over an old leaking well, it can eat away at roads, pipelines, and properties. We are in the process of understanding what's the cause, what's the, co what's the relationship if you inject this amount of water over this kind of geological environments, geological settings. Professor Zhang Lu, who thought work in Texas would be quiet compared to his past studying volcanoes, is now looking at ground movement data across the entire Gulf Coast. The injections that cause the ground to heave in some places may not have the same effect in North Texas or other locations, but it's data they want to understand before it becomes a disaster. I think we should, we should be uh, very much uh, uh, concerned. And the team is working on another paper right now that they told me today is going to show that the sinkholes out in West Texas are actually sinking much faster than they have seen before. They also want to expand the study to the entire West Texas Permian Basin to see just how much of that ground is moving. We're live tonight in Fort Worth. Jason Allen, CBS 11 News. Wow, it makes you even more curious than we already have, Ben. Thank you so much, Jason.